Welcome back to Retro Game Coders. This is C64 Electronics Part 4. In this video, we're going to integrate a Commodore 64 with Arduino. Arduino is a single board microcontroller based on the AVR 80Mega328P. It's actually a whole series of microcontroller boards. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. The one we're looking at is the Arduino Uno, the one that most people think of when they think of Arduino. And it's a 16 megahertz, 8-bit microcontroller. It has 32K of RAM, but it also has serial, it has PWM, and it has 14 digital I.O. pins. It's also got six analog pins and 1K EE prom, which means it can store things to load again on reboot. Especially important for our purposes, it has a voltage regulator, which means that using an Arduino offers us some amount of protection for our precious Commodore 64. Again, we're going to use the user port of the Commodore 64, and we're going to use the bottom pins, the ones that are lettered rather than numbered. We're going to use a serial connection to communicate between the Commodore 64 and the Arduino. That means we're going to use TX and RX and ground of the Commodore 64. But for debugging purposes, we're actually going to use software serial, and that allows us to communicate both with our desktop computer, our Mac or PC, and the Commodore 64 via the Arduino. We're going to connect pins A and N to ground. We're going to connect B and C to RX and we're going to connect M to TX on the user port. And then we're going to flip RX and TX on the Arduino. So rather than use the labeled RX and TX, we're going to use pins 10 and 11 and ground on the Arduino. And here is the Arduino code, the C code for Arduino that makes everything happen. And essentially all we're doing is opening two serial connections, one to the C64 and one to the desktop. We have to pay close attention to the baud rate. The Commodore 64 using these RX and TX pins alone is only able to go up to 2400 reliably. We need to configure it at 1200 or 2400 and then match it on the basic code. And here is the basic code. And the way we set the baud rate in BASIC is with this line 30, the CHR string open bracket 8. That will make it 1200. If we want it to be 2400, we'd change that 8 to a 10. And again, all we're doing is checking that serial connection for bytes. And if there's any to display, we'll display them. And if there's any to transmit, we'll transmit them. But it's not just for passing data like a chat program we can control accessories on the Arduino via the Commodore 64. So here's using the LED strip. 